How's it going everybody my name is Toxic and what I'm bringing you guys today are some quick tips and tricks you guys can use to improve your accuracy in Call of Duty Ghosts. So first of all as we all know Ghosts is a game where the first shot is just crucial. It has to be precise on the spot on the dot and if you don't get it unfortunately I highly doubt you're going to be able to win the gunfight. This is not Black Ops 2 where you could put three or four bullets in your enemy and they still have the opportunity to turn on you and get a kill. So first shot is just crucial which is why I'm making this video. But if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out my previous video, which was me giving you guys some tips on how you guys can win more gunfights and stay alive in Call of Duty Ghosts. As once again, it's nothing like Treyarch Games, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and hopefully you guys are able to pick out at least one thing that you guys can implement into your gameplay and game style. So first of all, we have the sensitivity factor. This by far the most important tip I'm going to be giving you guys. Sensitivity in Black Ops 2 went up to 14. Whereas in Call of Duty Ghosts, we have a 20 sensitivity cap, meaning that it's either going to be really high for some of you guys, or for some of you guys like me, really low. But if you're somebody who wants to improve your accuracy, personally, from personal experience, I recommend playing on a lower sensitivity, just because you'll be able to lock onto your enemy much easier than it would be, for example, if you're on a 20 sensitivity in this game, and you are wanting to turn around and kill someone, it's going to be really difficult to just catch on the enemy and get your crosshairs on the enemy of course whereas if you're using a 10 sorry not 10 uh, 5 or 6 sensitivity which is what I use in this game you're gonna be able to just turn around quickly lock on to him and get your first shot in so hopefully you guys know what sensitivity to play on the higher I assume meaning that you rush a lot that's basically how I look at things if you have a higher sensitivity I would consider you somebody who likes to run around a lot go in the middle of the map and just run and gun as they say but if you're somebody with a lower sensitivity I just believe that you're somebody who plays a bit more passively uh, you want to get that first shot in which is as I said just crucial and really important in this game so figure out your uh, sensitivity as that may just be the most important tip that I've learned throughout my years of Call of Duty and gaming sensitivity a really important thing secondly we have the gun the gun that you use in a gameplay has to be your favorite gun by no means does it have to be you know some shitty gun the chainsaw or anything like that in Call of Duty Ghosts we have a bunch of assault rifles that you guys can pick and choose from all of them with some great iron sights along with the reticles uh, red dot of course I highly recommend you guys use the red dot if you're wanting to get you know your accuracy stats higher or if you're just wanting to outgun your enemy highly recommend using reticle sights and the iron sights on your assault rifle SMGs in this game are in my opinion no use just because the iron sights on them are terrible along with the fire rate so I highly recommend sticking with assault rifles you'll be able to pick up those enemies from far range and you'll just be able to get those kills that shouldn't be happening and occurring I assume lastly we have the perks a lot of people say to use steady aim in this game but personally I'll be completely honest with you guys that's what I'm telling you guys stay away from stay away from steady aim just due to the fact it doesn't really do much to your gun I believe the recoil in this game is actually fairly good your gun doesn't really move much assault rifle wise most assault rifles are comparable to the AN-94 from Black Ops 2 along with the ACR from Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my social network links down in the description below. As I said, I wanted to keep this video as simple as possible, and the best tip I can possibly give you guys is to know your sensitivity, know what you're going to be playing on. Personally, as I said, I recommend a lower sensitivity, around 5 or 6 in Call of Duty Ghosts. It'll allow you to lock onto your enemy fairly easier. Use a gun that you think you'll be able to do good with, along with, you know, just the iron sights itself. Be sure to use the reticle sight if the iron sights aren't good enough. And lastly, stay away from steady aim. It really doesn't do much. That's basically the one negative that I'm going to be giving you guys throughout this commentary. As I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Toxic here, and I'm out of here. See ya. Peace. Cause I'm still with the king, uh, a little drug dealer reference What I can't try, these niggas out here lying, why can't I? Flashbacks when my teacher told me I can't fly Then looked at a nigga crazy just cause I say why Now look, no wings but I'm flyer than the birds Cosign on the beamer but it's whiter than the birds Something like a genius but man I'd have been a nerd Just to two the bad bitches while admiring the curves That might have been a noun or that might have been a verb But I'm just trying to find what you hiding in that skirt Hey Cole got her coming now, he might have been a first so she